when I was young, I was quite alert and awake to this world. And I was very existential in my thinking at a young age. And I also was very connected to the natural world. So it was really easy for me to go into, well, first of all, I was in the arts. I wanted to paint and uh, create. That was always my underlying drive. And I still do it to this day because really healing is an art as well. We have the science aspect, but if you don't have the intuition in the arts, then you're not getting very far with it. And then I want to become a veterinarian and due to my love of animals. And that, so that was really the big door opener into the scholastic levels of training because I want to go to holistic veterinary college, which they didn't have. And the vet school at the time, I was a heretic to do such a thing. And I was really shocked because I'd gone uh, and done all this training and all this tutelage under some really amazing masters who were veterinarians and naturopaths and acupuncturists. And I was witnessing some really incredible stuff you know, where animals are being carried in half dead, walking out by the end of the session sort of thing. And uh, so my mentor at the time, he said, why don't you go to naturopathic college? And I really wasn't interested in human medicine. I was more feeling compassion toward that, those who can't speak, who can't stand up for themselves, the innocent ones the most. But then I realized there's babies and elders. And, and, and now that I'm in human medicine, I realized that there's so many that are still, you know, they may look like they're adults. <laughs> but they're very innocent inside. They're very young souls. So really that just propelled me into more and more deeper study. And I was always curious and always wanting to learn, avid reader and whatever I wanted to know, I just went into the information. I'd go into the library and just start reading. So when you're a seeker, you find. Uh, so it just got me interested in all kinds of energy healing and what is how can I see with my eyes and hear with my ears? And how does an animal see with their eyes and hear with their ears differently than I do? 